<laughs> Thank you, President. And I'd like to send greetings to Maduro Arce Ortega, Gonzalez, Scarrett, and to different prime ministers and heads of delegation. It is a privilege for me to read the declaration of the 21st summit of ALBA TCP entitled ALBA TCP rejects exclusions and discriminatory treatment in what is called the Summit of the American in Los Angeles. Heads of states and government and heads of delegations of the Alliance for the People of the Americas, ALBA TCP, gathered in Havana, Cuba on the 27th of May 2022 in their 21st summit, one, ratify a commitment with the strengthening of ALBA TCP as an instrument of union between our peoples, supported in the principles of solidarity, social justice, cooperation, and complementarity economic with the integration, regional integration headed by the community of Latin American state, CELAC, and with the proclamation of Latin America as a zone of peace. Second, we support claims of countries in our America to materialize a change in the hemispheric relations based on the Charter of the United Nations and international law, including principles of sovereign legality, non-interference, non-use or threat of the use of force, peaceful solutions for problems and free determination of the peoples. Three, we reaffirm support to multilateralism as a main tool to face the diverse and complex challenges the world is going through through a collective action. Four, we denounce pretensions of dominance by the U.S. over the peoples of Latin America and the Caribbean to maintain the region divided for their own interests. Five, we reject exclusion, arbitrary, ideological and political exclusion as several of our countries from what is called the Summit of the Americas to be held in June, Los Angeles. That decision constitutes an enormous setback in the hemispheric regions that offends Latin American and Caribbean countries. Six, we support the rights of all countries in the continent to be invited and participate in equal conditions and emphasize that the host country does not have any right to impose exclusions or conditioning that violate their sovereignty and independence. Seven, we denounce the discriminatory treatment from the U.S against numerous representatives of the genuine civil society in our continent. Eight, we emphasize that this kind of exclusion do not contribute to the solution to the problems of integration or regional threats. Nine, we support and thank the brave position by government, social actors, organizations, and brother nations in our continent that have rejected strongly and in different ways the exclusions of the meeting in Los Angeles. Ten, we reject imposition of measures, coercive measures against Venezuela and Nicaragua and the economic, commercial and financial blockade against Cuba that violate the purpose and principles 
consecrated at the United Nations Charter and International Law. 11. Reindicate the national dignity of our countries supported in respect to ideals of the fathers of Latin America. 12. We support efforts to foster respectful dialogue, tolerance, and living in peaceful conditions between all countries in the Americas, without exception, to try to find effective solutions to the problems affecting the hemisphere. Havana, May 27, 2022. Dear brothers,